Roden, thank you uh, for joining me. Uh, welcome back to the show, actually. Uh, Pop Culture Unplugged. Thank you. Thank you for having me back, man. I always enjoy speaking with you. Exciting times, my friend. We have the last season of 901 Lone Star. Let's start with this bit. What's been going through your mind now? You know, now that you you finished film, have you finished filming the season? Yeah, yeah, a few yeah. months ago. And now, you know, what's going through your mind now? This is the last season and everything. How are you feeling all about this? Man, it's, you know, it's kind of been um, just a total roller coaster of emotions. Um, I, you know, I think we've had a lot of time. Uh, to sort of process everything. And um, I've had a lot of time to sort of make peace with it and reflect on it. And, um, you know, at first it was really, it, you know, it stung and it's, it, it sucks because it was never because of creative reasons or um, obviously because it wasn't because the show wasn't doing well. It was, it was literally for, um, you know, for financial reasons and, and, and diplomatic reasons when it comes to, you know, the studio and, and the network, you know, being separated on this show. So that, that's what really stung that it wasn't even, it wasn't even because of the actual work, you know, I would understand if the show wasn't doing well and people weren't resonating with it, then it's kind of like, okay, I get it. You know, I've been on a show that only lasted a season. I get it. Yeah. But when it's, five seasons and people are madly in love with it and it's global and it's i i think this final season is probably our best season so it's not like we're going out on a low note um so that definitely stung um but you know doing the five months with everybody that was really special um especially because we all knew that there was a high chance that it could be the last time and i think everybody really really enjoyed this last season on a different level um it's it, it probably bonded everybody even more knowing that this was going to be it um so from that perspective it was really beautiful actually um and then just me personally speaking you know I, this this show has i mean to say the least it, it has changed my life you know it has changed my career it's it's you know it's given me blessings that i could have never imagined um, it lets me live in a way that I, I didn't think I could get to in this in this sort of uh, career path. Um, so from that sense, it, you know, I, I just feel only gratitude and and um, it's it's just been just the biggest blessing of, of my career. And it's hard to sort of um, be too upset about it because, you know, as soon as I zoom out and look around, it's like, wow, this this show has given me such such beautiful things and and has created such beautiful opportunities and and has led me to so many incredible people and lifelong friends and um so it's a very bittersweet double-edged sword situation um mm -hmm. but man am i glad that it's out in the world now and people get to see the work that we put into um this final season and um i think you can feel everybody gave a little extra this season knowing that it, it might have been the last one yeah. so that's that's been really special to watch and what's huge is like you know like you mentioned like you know you've been on the show for five years the fans love tk also so you're like for you you might you know you're probably like emotionally attached to this character also mm. yeah you know i i always say that i love tk more than anybody and it's he um you know i've literally grown up with him you know i, right. I started this when i was 25 I'm now 30, you know, so much has changed in my personal life. So much has changed in TK's life. Um, it's also very bizarre how, how many things sort of were similar to TK and me in real life, you know, his yeah. history with opioids, um, him getting married on the show was the same year I got married. Um, you know, there's a lot of growth that has happened with TK that was very parallel with Ronan which was just so bizarre and pretty fascinating at times. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of always say that TK is, he's like everybody's big brother that you wish you had. Um, certainly that's how I feel. I wish I had a, a older brother like TK. That would be really, um, I think he's very admirable and, and, and a truly good person. And it's just been so, um, it's, it's been such an, an honor and, and a gift to get to play him. Um, you know, I'll cherish him forever. And, um, you know, it's nice whenever I miss him, I could just go on Hulu and, and <laughs> watch some of my favorite episodes and sort of reminisce. But 
um yeah man it's he's a uh, he's he's been special very special to me what are you gonna miss about this character you think it's hard to pinpoint hard to pinpoint one thing but i think the thing that sort of jumps out right away is how you know tk literally even if it means sacrificing his own body his own life his own his own soul his own mind he's always there for others you know and we've seen that in season one with his dad and then we've seen it you know progress into something so beautiful with carlos and then we saw it with his mom and we see it with his you know with his with his comrades at the firehouse and now the paramedics you know i feel like this season we're really going to get to see that dynamic grow of tk being the little brother to brianna to nancy and tk being sort of like you know a, a, a stepson to to tommy and yeah. um you know he's just such a selfless human being and i think that's you know such a big reason of why he chose the career that he chose and i just think that's so admirable and um you know he's a he's really really is a heroic figure um whether that means out there on the job or in personal lives. And I think that's such a brilliant balance that our show just does in general. Um, but especially with TK, you know, the balance of him out there in the field and out there behind closed doors, it's just been really, really, really cool to play and really exciting to play. And, and you know, there's some episodes this season where I think, again, we get to level up um, TK's personal story and TK's personal drama and, um, you know, I, I was saying earlier that there's a scene in episode five that it's definitely one of my top three favorite scenes of all time. Um, and I think people will know exactly why. So it's funny. Cause I wrote down, like, is there, is there going to be a specific moment this season that takes over from like a favorite moment from the last four seasons? So you're making it sound like this is going to be it. Episode five. 100% episode five and then man something happens in episode seven that is just it's something I've been praying for for the last five years and um you know it's not really it's not really a secret anymore but you know we get visited by uh my my stepbrother Jonah and my my stepfather Enzo and I think that takes TK's storyline to a whole different level and you know, we get to really see that dynamic of, of the man that actually raised TK when he was young because Owen wasn't around. Right. And then we get to see the dynamic of TK with his little stepbrother and see where that leads them. And that's something I've been asking for from the moment I learned about Jonah and season one, I've been asking about Enzo because I knew how important that dynamic was for him. You know, the fact that he had these sort of like dueling father figures in his life and um, even when it seems like Owen and TK are the most idyllic father son, there's, there was so much stuff happening behind closed doors that we finally get to reveal. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, that, th that leads to something between TK and Owen that I'm so proud of. It's sort of the ultimate, yeah. um, climax of, of that relationship. And, um, yeah, I think those two coming in is going to change everything. Another uh, fan favorite also, you know, you mentioned earlier, uh, Tarlos, you know, like the fans love that relationship. It's one of the highlights of the show. One yeah. of the highlights of the show. Uh, how would you uh, describe that little bond now between you and, uh, you know, uh, Rafael Silva? And what are you going to miss about that? Man, I'm going to miss TK and Carlos, you know, the, the, talk about relationship goals, you know, and. Um, and I don't want to just call it a queer relationship, you know, it's, it's, it's just relationship goals, period, like yeah. their level of perseverance and communication and, and, and just the pure love and respect that they have for each other. Um, I think that's also such an admirable couple to, to, to look at and maybe even like, you know, it, maybe it could be a shining light for somebody like a North star of of you know that kind of silly thing couple goals but it, you know it, it kind of is couple goals you know it's I, I think especially their communication levels that's something that I've definitely been uh trying to take into my own personal life because man they could they can handle any situation um because they've literally been dealt every single situation that you could imagine 
the most extreme to the most simple. Um, and, you know, just watching them bloom into this, into this giant movement that is now called Tarlos. It's been really, that's, I think for me, been the most like, holy shit, how did this happen moment? Um, because that's something you cannot predict, right. you know? You hope that people resonate with a character or a relationship, but you can't imagine it becoming this thing where Raphael and I are going all over the world to meet fans and they're traveling from all over the world just to just because of Tarlos and what Tarlos means to them. And 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 to tell us, you know, whether it's it's 30 seconds of, of just what Tarlos has meant to them and and how many lives Tarlos has changed and how many lives Tarlos has saved. Yeah. You know, and, and that gets really deep and 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 really um sad at times, but it's true, you know, it's like this this relationship and these characters has really affected people on such a deep visceral level. Um so you know that's 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 the biggest thing for me throughout these last five years that I've had to sort of like step back and be like, wow, this this has really affected people on such a different level than just like a show that you like to to watch and it's sort of like a comfort show this has been such a deep personal thing for people and um the fact that we've been able to sort of do that for them is is everything you know and it's something that you don't really um expect as an actor you kind of just want to go out there and, and do a good job but when it when it goes to this other level you just I think it's just an added level of responsibility of like, uh, we really have to do a good job. Like mm -hmm. it's so much more than just characters on a TV show at this, at this point, you know? Yeah. So that's been really, really surreal and an incredible, incredible journey. Would you be on board for a Tarlos uh, spinoff? People are talking <laughs> yeah. about spinoffs, all these boomers and everything. Would you jump yeah, on I that? Think I, I think I've been the loudest component about this <laughs> whole thing. You know, I'm, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I want the spinoff, um, obviously selfishly to, you know, continue the journey for TK. And, um, I think it, it's kind of like our showrunner said, he's like, I think we've just started to, you know, to, 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 to scratch at the surface of what these characters, um, are and, yeah. and where they are in their lives. And, um, but also for the fans, you know, I, I know how devastated people are that it's ending and, especially Tarlos, kind of like I was saying just earlier. Um, so I think, you know, on so many different levels, I, I would love to see this story continue. And, and, you know, of course it's, it's pretty badass that they're even talking about it as a, as a possibility, you know, right. obviously nothing, nothing is even close to being confirmed or in the works, but the fact that people are talking about it um, truly shows that these two have connected with people and, it's been such a such an honor and it's it's just so cool that we're even discussing this you know because yeah it could have just been two characters on a tv show mm, you're right was there a like any uh you know throughout like tk's story are you happy with, with the way his story has come to like full circle for the season are fans going to be happy with his story oh yeah yeah, yeah. i you know especially when enzo and jonah come and I think people will know exactly what I mean once that moment happens. But um, I definitely have no no regrets after 72 episodes of playing TK. I have no, um, not sure what the word is, but definitely no sort of, oh, I wish we could have done this. Yeah. Because between Tim and Rashad, they've personally surprised me multiple times on the show. They've gifted me with such incredible storylines that I couldn't even have, you know, imagined. Um, and they've also gifted me with storylines that I was deeply, deeply hoping for. Um, again, Enzo and Jonah, you'll see why. Um, but man, at the end of 72 episodes, I can sit here honestly and say it is a perfect end to uh, an incredible journey. Uh, for TK and um, yeah, I'm just I'm so proud of 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 the work that we've done and and the stories that we've been able to tell and um, 
it's just 72 episodes of of just right. something that we could all be proud of and um yeah i think people will be very satisfied this season and i know they're already super satisfied with the first three episodes right um so just just you just wait and see yeah was there ever uh like any ideas thrown at you for certain stories and you were all excited about, but it never made it on TV or on the set. They kind of like bummed you out a little bit. No, I'm not really. You know, I think, I think Tim and Rashad won't bring up a storyline for me. Um, I mean, to me, if they're not going to do it, you know, yeah. and that's what I love about them so much is uh, I'll never forget when Tim called me to tell me that, we were going to do the heroin flashback and, and the mom right. storyline. And he called me, I think it was a week in advance because he knew I was going to probably need time to prep physically and mentally. And I'll never forget. He called me and he said, I have a gift for you. And I was like, what? He's like, we're doing a, a TK flashback episode. And he's like, this is your episode. You get to really, really go in on this one. And from that moment on, I, started you know not treating my body well but you know i think it was worth it and that helped with the mental aspect of the episode and so when it was moments like that it's just like it was just such a gift you know and it, it really was a gift and um we have so much of that this season and um yeah it, it's everything that they they promised they they have they have uh they have delivered on a whole different level. Mm, yeah. How many, uh, how many episodes are we expecting for this season? So it's 12 episodes. Okay. And they're all incredible. Yeah, <laughs> Last question on uh, Lone Star. Uh, what do you hope the fans are mostly about like TK and his journey throughout the series and about your performance, of course, man, you know, I think TK has hit people on so many different levels. And I think that's, what's really special is that, you know, he's resonated with people for so many different reasons. And it's kind of hard to pinpoint just a, a few things. I think he's just, he's meant so much to people for so many different reasons. And I think that's why, you know, one of the biggest reasons I love him so much is that he's such a layered, complex character, you know, and all people are layered and complex, but it was just so cool to actually show it on network television, on a network procedural, which we don't we don't always get the the chance to do that you know a lot of characters you know a lot of time they could be really surface or they could be you know we show a couple layers or we show a couple storylines but i think with tk he's probably had the most complex journey in the entire show i mean it it would be kind of hard to to compare it to anybody else you know it's been the, the things that this kid has gone through from the moment we meet him in the pilot yeah. it's bonkers you know to the moment we leave him in episode 12 season five i mean that journey is just unreal and it's just been the i, been, I feel so fortunate to be able to to have you know experienced that and to, to have played that and and um again just all the praise goes to tim and rashad and ryan for trusting me with these kind of storylines and trusting me with this kind of you know tremendous responsibility because TK's storylines are very difficult topics and very yeah. difficult subject matter that you can't you can't take lightly and um I've just made sure I'm I've, I've, I was able to give my everything literally my sweat blood and tears and right and lack of sleep and all <laughs> of it and and I hope people can see that and 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 know that I, I I did that because I love TK as much as they do, if not more. Mm. Um, and I just wanted to give the fans my absolute everything. And I hope I hope they I hope they feel that by the time the season ends. When you finished uh, filming, uh, did you take anything from set? You know, I, I've taken stuff throughout the seasons. Okay. Um, I have a really 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 special thing where they made. Um, like a like a token um and it was only a few people have been here for all 72 episodes and that was really something special that means tk has never missed a single episode and you know i was there since day one in new york with rob and that's something that 
you know, only a few people know. And also being out in Austin, season one, not a lot of people remember that, but yeah. that was something that only Rob, Jim, and myself um, have experienced. And I'll cherish those two moments um, very, very dearly. And um, so that's here in my office to the right, next to my Fight Club uh, action figures. Um, and then I have the original Texas flag from okay. the very first trailer of the fire truck um, driving through Austin. That that was gifted to me by our fire firefighters on the show. Um, I have TK's um, sobriety token, the one year one. Okay, that one's extra special to me because heading to work that day, uh, I actually got into a really bad car accident, totaled my car. Wow. Everybody was safe, but um, I knew I had this five page monologue with literally 12, 12 actors, like every character we've ever had. And I didn't want to disappoint anybody. So I still managed to get to work somehow. And everybody was like, you're insane. You need to go home. <laughs> and I was like, I can't miss this scene. It's so important to me on so many different levels. I have everybody waiting for me. They're like, trust me, if there was ever a time to like take a day off, it's it's today. And I, I was stubborn and luckily showed up to work. And uh, I think I think that's actually one of my best scenes, maybe because I had so much adrenaline from getting into a car accident. But um, so holding on to that has been really special. And, um, you know, I got a couple other things, but I think those three are really, really, really symbolic for me and, and TK and just my journey on the show. Amazing. What's next for you now? Uh, any other projects you'll allow us to tell us about or are you just just doing stuff with the band for now? So the band is priority. You know, we're finishing our EP. We're going to have five brand new songs. We're going to release a music video. We're going to release vinyl. We're going to release merchandise um, and then eventually play live. Um, so that's been, you know, that's actually been one of the big um, sort of uh, bright spots of of having time is is being able to dedicate my time and focus to music because it's been really hard to try to balance nine months of shooting a show yeah. with also trying to write and record music. And um, my band is just so patient and I just love those guys so much for understanding the situation. And it doesn't hurt that they're also my best friends. So okay. they, they get it on a whole different level. Um, and um, so that's been amazing. And then, you know, again, this, these five seasons have sort of gifted me the luxury of for the first time ever, being able to be patient and, you know, somewhat um, meticulous about what the next job will be. And um, I think that's, that's something that I always sort of fantasized about, but didn't know if it could actually happen. Um, so the next job is going to be, you know, it has to be something really special and it'd be nice to do something different. Um, I kind of have been, you know, putting out into the universe, a movie. I really miss doing film. Okay. Um, that's where my career started. That's where I've, you know, sort of, um, you know, that's, that's sort of where I've, I've done most of my stuff and, um, it would be nice to get back to a film and have a very clear beginning, middle end. Um, I also miss the movie theater experience. There's nothing like that. Um, so right now we're just searching for the next project and, uh, we're going to be meticulous and we're going to be patient and, um, in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy my beautiful wife and our dogs and our home. And, um, you know, it's nice to have a creative outlet with music. And um, so, yeah, man, we're just going to enjoy life and enjoy the fruits of of, of this crazy labor these last right. five years and just sort of, you know, really enjoy it, you know, because for five years you're kind of in tunnel vision work mode and you don't really get a moment to sit back and be like, wow, you know, look at, look at the life I've created around me. So um, that's been really beautiful to sort of sit back and actually enjoy, enjoy the life that I've created. That's amazing. So yeah, we'll have to get you back on with the next project and we'll keep oh, on with this uh, conversation. Count me in every time. Yeah, I enjoy talking to you. Uh, I want to thank you uh, for giving me a few minutes today. Uh, Pop culture unplugged. Like I said, let's get you back on. Of course. Always man. 